All right. So what are we looking at here, Mike? So I thought I would just kind of just show, you know, visually what we kind of mean here. In mm -hmm. general, we've got people who build their strategies on TradingView or, or, or TrendSpider, mm -hmm. um, MetaTrader in their own Python environment or, you know, Node.js, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Essentially, you're just sending what we call a JSON payload, which is this string of, of text that has instructions for what you want to trade. And, okay. and, uh, and, and you send this through a webhook URL mm -hmm. and a webhook URL is basically just a way to send a signal off to us with this instruction. We'll capture that instruction and then, and then send it out and trade it with the broker that you've connected it to. Okay. Um, and so we're, we're just, we're connected to a whole lot of brokers in every asset class. Molly, see the, see the arrow there up there. Do you see the arrow Molly? Yeah. That's yeah. tradier. Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> the you arrow. See that yeah. arrow? Yeah. Colorful one. Yeah. Not the, um, Tradier again. Do I, as a user, have to know how to write code to, to use this? Yeah, really good question. Many, uh, many of our users do not write even a single line of code with us. Um, That'd be me, by the way. Right. And that, yeah. that's completely supported. The, the one sort of technical hurdle to get past is how that JSON text should be written, mm -hmm. which, you know, we can think of as more of um, a, a, a list of rules rather than actually pro looking at it like a programming language. Mm -hmm. It's not actually executing code. It's just the snippet of text that's required in order for us to understand the instructions for your trade. Sure. Um, so definitely we are a no code uh, type of platform. If you have a trading strategy that you've set up in, you know, in your own environment and, uh, or it's like a strategy on trading view and you know mm -hmm. how to set up alerts and connect our webhook URL, then you're good to go. You know, okay. and many, many of our users do not write a single line of code. Sure. And, and so I don't have to necessarily know the syntax of JSON sort of, you know, um, instructions, right? You, you'll correct me through that if, as it were. Absolutely. Yeah. If you okay. send over signals to us and the JSON isn't formatted properly, yep. we have a parser on our side that it, that uh -huh. looks at the at the incoming message and can actually help you correct it. It'll it'll explain like okay. what we see wrong with it. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is in our in our dashboard, when mm -hmm. you are uh, looking to put together a request, mm -hmm. not only do we have comprehensive documentation, but we can also uh, help you actually construct the order. Mm -hmm. um, by sending over a test through this form. So when I hit confirm here, this will actually show I can send over for that particular okay. uh, trade that I want to execute. Got We've it. got several other ways that we help users, you know, understand what a JSON payload should look like. Yep. Um, okay. And then, uh, so what, what I'm looking at here is you said it's a future, right? Uh, this is just a, I, I put together a quick instruction to trade yep. and buy a single contract of NQ. Yep. Okay. Awesome. And it will, and can you put the instructions to exit once you get filled? Yep, absolutely. So there are buy signals, sell signals, exit signals. Um, you can cancel or add to a position. Uh, all those are different types of actions that we support. Mm -hmm. The idea of the exit concept is pretty interesting because one of the things we do inherently is manage your existing position. So like if mm -hmm. I have three NQ contracts open in a futures position and I send an exit signal, Traders Post is going to go look up how many contracts you're currently holding and sure. then automatically flatten that position for you. So there's a lot of really cool, you know, automated position management features that are built into this as well.